everybody, it's Sherry Moulton back with another video. Now, I have been seeing, I'm just going to get you so you're in there properly. I have been in a couple of the groups that I, I'm on Facebook. People are asking about this liquid glass pouring medium. Now, let me get you in there. Now, I have... Um, been privileged to take a class um, and it was from Glocum Moral. I am horribly bad. Um, it's a nice little farm just outside of Kingston. These two beautiful ladies. I will share their link in my video um, and they have classes and it's called you know liquid glass pouring medium so they quite beautiful very very I had an amazing time and these are what I did in her classes that's one you got to do three pieces and of course I had to match them all and they're shiny you don't have to varnish them I I'm bad I haven't uh, cleaned off my edging but it's amazing and when I was there, I had previously bought the stuff and I was wanting to play prior to the class because they're always booked up. So I bought myself a little kit. There's, it's like I said before, it's made locally to where I am. It's made in Kingston, Ontario, and I buy it right from the distributor place. So I played around. This was my first experiment with it. I mixed in sparkly paints, just whatever paint I had. Um, and then I got, oh my goodness, I forgot to put the silicone oil. And then I dropped it on top of the paints. So note, do not put silicone after. It ends up with craters in your paint. But again, dried smooth. Even the craters, there's not really much of a a dip it just shows the paint spread it there and again very very cool so with that um, in my class they taught us that it's you kind of almost treat it like a resin I've seen people where they're suggesting you know put some water in it mix it the flow troll and no the only thing you should mix in it is is paints and treat it more or less like a resin you have about 35 minute working time and um, yeah I had a hard time playing with it I I jumped into the acrylics playing and doing you know the flip cups and the pours and blowing and then so I tried it with this and like again it's like a resin so it doesn't act like the acrylics so it's two whole different things it, it looks cute, but it's not, I really don't like it. And again, it dried flat. It's shiny. There's no need to put a coat of anything on top, which is part of, you know, the appeal to it because it's like one-stop shop. You don't have to do something after. So with that, I'm going to play. I am going to try and, I've never done strings, so I've got my, my yarn cut. I am going to make kind of like a peacock color. So um, the place in Kingston where I purchase the stuff, it is called Art Noise. It's a really cool shop. They have music stuff. They have art stuff. They've got paints. They've got canvases. They've got everything you can think of. Brushes. And they also make their own line of paint heavy duty you don't need a whole lot so today's colors I'm gonna use these are phthalo turquoise and it's tri art I am using burnt umber in the tri art I'm using primary yellow in the tri art I'm using ultramarine blue classic and I'm also using magnesia blue hues um, the only one that's not theirs, I'm trying liquid, sorry, heavy body is acrylics, quadra syndrome, <laughs> magenta, 
that name again. I butchered it again. So what I did is I used a small pea size and mixed it in my cups. I put one drop. And again, I don't know if you've been watching my videos, but this is the same place where I buy my silicone oil. It is amazing. You don't need a whole lot. And like I said, in with my um, doing my flip cups and my swipes, I've actually cut back on the oil because the cells are crazy. I'm going to put that away because my lid's broke on it, so I don't want to spill it and lose my gold. <laughs> so these are the colors. I've put one drop of silicone in each, and I just used the straight. I bought the heavy-duty bottle of the liquid glass. They also, you can also get it tinted. I purchased, this one is white, so I figured I could mix this and put a drop of color in it so that, you know, instead of red, I'll have pink or light blue. I can have baby blue, which is kind of cool. And I'm just going to show you a quick, this is what I initially bought. It is a pouring set. It's pre-mixed. They also sell this in pre-mixed colors. You get them in sizes. So they're pre-mixed with the actual pouring medium in it, which is kind of cool. So that's what I first bought. All right. So with that, I am going to flood my canvas with the white. And I'm going to take the lid off because I might need to pour it a little more. Ugh. Actually, I'm just going to mix it up because it's been sitting here for a little bit. And with this as well, when I went to my class, um, I was having an issue with bubbles. And I was told, do not torch. Because when you torch, you will create more bubbles. I did not know that, so... With that, oh, it looks like I needed to mix it more. Well, we're going to go with it anyways because of the fact that it's already got this in it. It's just the color is going to be all uh, yeah, it's kind of marbled. I'm going to pour a little more because I want to make sure I get enough on the, the base anyways. I'm going to let it go over. All right. I'm going to eh, use my finger best tools that you were gifted with with your hands. All right. I want to get the edges because really to get the edges you should let it flow over on its own. I don't know, I'm dreading, I have to work tomorrow and we are supposed to get another Ice. We're supposed to get ice. I am just about finished with winter. <laughs> I don't know about anyone else, but I love living in Canada, but 
And then again, it's like, I don't know. I need to have four seasons or it won't seem like I'm living in Canada. As much as I whine about the uh, snow and the... All right, I just wanna make sure the edges are good. Like anything, you gotta have a good base. I'm just gonna put a little more on the edge here so I can, it'll flow over better. Now what I'm gonna try to do is put my brown at the end and then I'm going to dip my um, colors into, or my, sorry, my string into the colors. And uh, drag it up through the brown. Let's see if it works. One last little edge thing here. I just want to make sure the edges are nice, being it's... Oh, and yes, they suggest that you don't use a canvas because when it dries, it can twist. Because it's, like I said, it's similar to a resin. That's why you get that nice glossy coat. There. I think the edges are good. Here, let me just get this little... Perfect. Now what I'm going to do is <laughs> I wear the same shirt. I should buy an apron. All right. I see bubbles, but um, if you pop them, you can take a pin. They say that when you torch, you end up bringing out more bubbles. Pardon my head. Let me see my funky hair again, sorry. And I got a cat hair. Love the cats, but not the hair. There we go, all right. So I'm gonna give it a stir and my brown, I'm gonna pour at the bottom. Jeepers creepers, Sherry. Eh, let it drip over, that's fine. But hey, I might as well just do a whole edges. There we go. I don't have anything else to do with this, so, or use for this. There we go. Wish me luck. So what I'm going to do is give it a little stir. I didn't uh, gonna tuck my, gonna take my popsicle stick and push it down in. Yeah, that's the best way to do it. Awesome. Gonna see how it goes. Hopefully, there it's quite drenched. We're gonna go like this. Keep it separated and see what it does. Very cool. couple with the with this well we'll go 
this way. The brown is taken over. This way. All right. This might not work out, but again, you can't learn if you don't try. I'm going to take my darker the blues which is the ultra marine which is nice and bright all right we're gonna go big or go home Actually, that's kind of cool. All right. Look at the cells pop up. Pretty neat. I'm going to do the um, phthalo turquoise. I have so much of these paints, I might have to do a flip cup on something. Now they, yeah, they say not to use the canvas, but I might cry. All right, let's go this way. This is such a pretty color. Break up some of that brown in the bottom and go. Maybe I might. Yeah, my line in the bottom went really wide, wider than I wanted it to be. We're gonna try a little further down with some yellow. Break up that brown. I do like this kind of little effect in the bottom. That's kind of cool. I wonder if you can blow on that. Hmm. Pretty neat. Like I said, I do love the stuff, and it, it's going to dry amazingly. Uh, I got this other blue that we'll try. Oops, I've got my... We'll go this way this time. We're gonna go It's pretty neat. more string here. I'm going to do, I love that phthalo turquoise. I'm going to put some more in there. And then I think I'm just going to do a flip cup on a bigger canvas that I have here. And this you can mix up 
you can leave it in your squirt bottles you know it's very very versatile I don't know if I'm gonna put any more on there actually let's try and go from up here we're gonna go Hmm. Now we just let the cells create. I think I'm going to leave it at that. I don't want to play too much because then it'll be all muddy. I'll pick it up and let you see. And I will show you. Again, you can tip. Like it's pretty... Pretty sweet. What I might do is bring it down this way if there's enough paint on there. Do it slowly. Get rid of some of the brown. Yeah. It's going to be cool. The colors will go right on over. And then I'm going to tilt it back up so this middle part isn't so congested there. It looks just... Actually... I love that. That's kind of cool, actually. So, I don't know. I hope if any of you had any questions about this, I hope this might have helped a little. But like I said, I was watching and listening, you know, just hearing people talk throughout the different Facebook pages that, you know, they were, weren't happy with it and didn't know how to use it. I get this a little bit more maybe I can get rid of that little part too so yeah it's like I said the stuff is amazing um, there's even a 1-800 number that you can call the gentlemen there are amazing they can answer any of your questions well I think I'm gonna leave it at that too bad I didn't use the metallic in here instead of that straight brown but you can mix it again you can mix it with any acrylics I um I just like the acrylics are so pigmented that you just need so little. It's like ridiculously. I got a big bubble here. I'm just gonna pop with my that so that it will. And again, I hope this helps. So I'm gonna turn you off. And I'm going to prepare another canvas and I will do um, a flip cup with all these colors because I think that would be pretty. And I'll videotape that as well. So if you haven't subscribed to my channel, um, please do. And hit the like button and so I can, you'll know when I get notifications, <laughs> sorry, when I have my next videos. I'll talk to you later. Bye.